pressure early on. Yeah, and attack is flying really well earlier on, but the first two kills are going to go in favor of no poaching. This is looking good for them. All around. See, but there's still that wall there early oh. placed. At least Lowell can make it expensive, but he's been peppered down. Yeah, I just trying to catch a couple on the exit, but nothing's going to really go. Team Hotex, why they get one kill, and even Element turning back for the Frenzy 3k. He's going to try and find this fight against Alarante. About to peek it, but the timing's not great. The Vandal wins out the duel. The Paranoia misses, and Aussie wants to try and push, but he's not quite on the agent to do that. They're going to try to step in. Aussie's the man to take down the first. Valorante down. Morton now up from heaven trying to spray down into the site. He's got one on the Odin. The Vandal coming into play as well for Emilwai, who was really impressive earlier on. You know, stepping in for Artis. We thought, you know, how is this player going to perform? He's going to get tight again indeed. And down in front of him, there's absolutely no chance, surely, unless he gets them into 1v1s. That info, and now the push comes through. Element dashes on in, gets in on towards Hell, and spotted by the trap wire. Monster's got one as well. He's doing a really good job of just staying alive from heaven. This is a big issue. They will start to get the spike planted, but they've lost the player. They haven't been able to trade it out. But as long as they can hold in this post plant, they should be feeling okay about this. Postplant positions are going to be important here, and the camera for Monster is still impactful. Looks to get that pulse, but just misses out. Doesn't want to get caught out in turn, but also he is getting hit by Paranoia on the defense. It's a nice book to stop one, but the rest of No Poaching is there to sort of shut it down. There's that Seekers coming in. It's going to put that pressure onto a mill. It's going to continue to try and see if he can see anything towards sewers, but the hold is strong from No Poach. That's looking good for them. It looked a little worrying when the, the first kill went in Heretic's way, and now they're holding for the rest. Lal only getting away with one, and Emilwa, as much as he's looking, is going to allow the spike plan to come through. Going to start firing some information, plays in towards the B side itself. Recon bolt not getting much out of it. And so for no poaching, they've got the side, but they've also got some strong post plans. They haven't lost a single player. For Heretic's, they've got to get a kill quickly. A monster trying to get out long. They're not feeling too comfortable about this. They're trying to use the util to get closer and start to limit the position of a couple of these defensive players. And now they go through Pat Attack, trying to make his way forward. Emil Wan and Pat Attack getting a couple of kills. Now the flank out long from Monster might just be able to reveal something. He's got to get it through window and he's found it. Jack able to find the headshot back. And now the lineup for Aussie's there. The triple kill on the round. And it's no poach to pull off just because there is this sort of aggressive side in there. Paranoid connects nicely to Pat Attack. Being able to get that information just off of the recon dart is good enough. He's going to be hit actually by a surprise Nana Swarm that's just dropped in behind him. No post wasting no time. Trying to hit another side of the map. Alorant is going to hear all of this. The front of the shadow is dedicated but shut down. It's sent back from Team Heretics. The monster here with Alorant is trying to hold on to the site and they're doing a pretty good job of it so far. Again, Heretics. 5v5. No one is yet to die and so that spike will go down but the angle of Alorante has allowed the denial of the plan. Hunter's Fury starts to come through as well and he's connecting damage showstopper into the round as well and Alorante is going to go around long he's got one a second picked up that's three in the round and the sheriffs with the advantage going in on the site the resurrect had to be dedicated to oh. has the whole lineup perfectly for him that's insane from Lord just running right into his crosshair just hold down mouse one get the lineup and you'll love to see it Jack now trying to get involved, often left in these 1v5 scenarios, and none of them really have looked winnable for him, but and because of that, they feel comfortable heading into B instead, so they put the wall up on the right side, Element swings in, finds the head of Emilwa coming through the pit, shells are not going to deny the spike planted, in fact, they won't get a kill out of it either, Aussie making sure the shrouded steps away from the site itself, and keeps it into at least touching distance. There's still a man down here, Team Heretics, for the retake. The Blade Storm invested into the dive into the side, and there we go! Element takes them all down, and he's looking for the ears, but Pat Attack will steal that away, but Aussie makes sure the work is done. It's into B, so they're, instead they're going to drop back and go into Garage, and this C site's going to be under pressure, but Alarante, look at the timing! He's got in behind him, he's found one, now looking for a second, that's the spike down! Alarante on for a 3k! He's done everything you need right now for Heretics. The timing is sublime, and he's looking to just get it all. Monster making sure the ace is not possible, and Alorante starting to run out of ammo is looking for the taps, but it's all an element. He had the hero play in the previous round, and now needs to do it again. It looks for a headshot. He's under a lot of pressure, and eventually... Monster's not really been putting up those tripwires in some cases. He just had a camera plane off the site, so all of that space was for free. And now we're in this duel over on A, the showstopper is going to be thrown towards Lobby, or apparently not as Paddy to yet again. <laughs> this whole area of the map is his.
Yeah, he's a Polish beast, man. He's doing everything for them. And it's cool to see Paditek having this individual level today. We've seen him look so good in that opening game, doing well in this one. Always he's going to get that spike planted. Monster. Well, he has been a monster from heaven, and he's going to try and do it again. But the timing on the scope peak does not work out. Jack's going to get away. Kind of lucky, actually, not to have been committed to the angle at the wrong time. And he's going to reposition. Lol trying to now move with his teammate. Monster leading the charge through. They're not making this one a secret. They have to move quite quickly. They're going to throw the cage Lovely. down onto the site. Aussie with a beautiful peek out with a headshot. Trying to step back in behind cover, but he's back into low slow orb. He's found a headshot. Nana Swarm onto the spike though, and this is this is a little worrying now for Lol. He's just hoping for the peek. He's going to go out of the defuse though. He's going to start holding it, and Jack is going to start sprinting. He didn't get it to half. Lol hits the headshot. He's got to stick it. He's got to hold it. It's going to be close, and Lol he just has... Not got enough time. Had chance to rotate. They want to play pure retake if they can. Yeah, that spike's gonna go down. Shed has been able to find Elorante. It's a big kill to find because now we put it back into a 4v4 once again. An equilibrium re-established on the server. Turret goes in to pick some info up and now they're trying to play off of this. Panatex forced to fight on two fronts and it's not gonna work out for him. Monster has to drop back and he doesn't drop back empty-handed. He gets a double kill and Aussie tries to swing into the open. Vicious will get the trade. Peek is gonna get spotted and he takes a little, a little bit of damage for Fire Laurent to close him out. Alarante has done well again and now this set piece that we've seen come through a lot from their poaching and their attacking side so to come through the other way. Alarante 4k and now looking for the ace up against the eco. He's done it. He's found all five. Seeing what they can find where these players are going to be but they don't expect Aussie on this corner but even then the Spectre's able to get the win. Shed sees the spike being dropped in mid. Yeah, now they're just going to go back over towards C. Lol, Seekers are hunting him down. He's trying to outrun the Seeker, but you cannot really do that. As uh, he gets caught in the backside, Monster's going to get a double kill. This is now looking good for Heretic. Suddenly, two important kills go their way. And Vicious just hanging outside of the garage. Elements gone in. They break some, up some of that utility, and Vicious now coming through. Oh, Monster wasn't looking the right way. Guiding Light starts to go through a cloud burst in the middle of the site to allow Element closer. He's got the feet from the angle as well. The Trailblazer's just got so much information. Elements found the first headshot, and now Emilwa under so much pressure puts it all on LOL. A one versus two, he's got the first. Tap onto the spike has started to come through. LOL now walling himself up, giving himself a better fight. And Vicious still in with a headshot. Hadatek's position is so good. He dodges the Guiding Light and swings out, but Shed is so ready for that angle. And because Lowell only has a Spectre, he can't really fight at long range. He can't help out his teammates. But luckily, Element has done a good enough job to take away one and just force back any of that long play. And while Team Hadatek's realized, okay, we've seen so many players over towards A, we can quickly make this relocation back over to the C side of things and see what we've got over here. Monster dodges the Alarm Bot. Gonna start moving forward now, trying to figure out where the defensive players are playing from. So, oh, big flick out to the right side, but unable to take down Element. And now he's run out of ammo and has to go to the Classic. Shock darts through, bring him down to 14 HP, and Emilwa will finish off what he started with a Shock Dart. He gets a second as well, quickly following up of that. Down to the 1v1. Aussie has turned it into a chance. And the walls managed to augment at the right time, but this boost is really good to be able to hop over. It's an open angle, and that's a 200 IQ shrouded step. And still, Team Heretics want to go here. They don't have a flash that's really going to break on through. A paranoia, oh. mate. Does he go for it? He does. I thought he was about to go for the shot. He gets the timing, he gets the shot, and now he denies from the shadows as well. As he tries to get out of play, he gets out of dodge just at the right time as well, because that showstopper was hunting him down. And because he's so far away, the showstopper gets nothing out of it. Spike will get planted. Heretics still have that man advantage. But that lockdown's about to come in, and that makes things real difficult. Alarante, he's looking for some shots coming in, but it's Emil Watt. Finally, Alarante getting involved as well. He sent the pin shells in to try and deny that lockdown, it. but it doesn't reach it. It doesn't go around the corner. It was protected by the side of the doorway. And so it doesn't shut down the lockdown. Vicious will fall. And now things are looking so good for the heretics. The time is ticking so far on. An element getting caught at the back of the site. There's not too much he can do here with an operator. He hasn't... He's got... No cloud burst either, so he's got no smokes to really help him to get it out of this. Last time, really get a glimpse of what Team Heretics are planning, what they're trying to do. And there's that early pressure, but it doesn't quite catch on. Vicious doesn't need it anymore. He's able to get the Seekers online just from that kill alone. But no poach still at the player disadvantage in a 4 versus 3. Heretics 
They're looming over that A site now that they've got two kills there. Yeah, it's just gonna go slow again, exactly sending that owl drone out. They're all theft coming through as well, getting all the information on the remaining flyer seekers going into monster, but he just melts them. Right in front of him, the Phantom continues to charge forward with the backup of Alex. Look at this commitment straight into B. They're gonna go for it. Guy lights through to try and slow down the attack. Moss just found one. Aussie holding through the shadows, though. It is going to be a kill coming in for Patatech and Alorante. They found all the important fights. And right now, Heretech's feeling very comfortable in the four versus two. They'll put that spike down. And for no poaching, making this one work is just looking unbelievably unlikely. Vicious. Gets caught inside of the cyber cage. Jack just now looking for a kill to the extremities of the site itself. They have to really hold off this hit, and the Hunter's oh. Fury is going to be used on that position. It is going to catch up to Shed. The second shot, it does catch up to Ozzy a little bit, but it's Alaranta that gets the kill. And now immediately a free versus two, but Vicious. Shaq holding down the site, and he's able to get just a little bit more. Yeah, great stuff. Trading out, you know, the paranoia connected early, but the Hunter's Fury makes sure that they can't capitalize on it. And now the spike goes down, low locking it in, and a two versus one. But Monster's position has won the round, easily taking down it going forward. Here comes the showstopper, Alarante trying to get something out of it, but again, it hasn't amounted to a kill. The Blitzstone of Element dashing out to the right side. He gets away with one. Would have liked a little more, but it's on Shed now to go and try it anyway. Dark Cover comes back out. Paranoia through as well to try and make it happen, but Shed gets aggressive. And no poach for anything. They don't have any ultimates, and Pats Tech again punishing in that position. Captain's Vicious. Aussie in behind a second, a 3k from Aussie, he gets all four. What a shutdown. Tripwire that needs to be broken, but nobody's there to really play off of it. And this is no poach coming in. Oh, Element trying to hide inside of the cloud burst, but eventually that will fade away. And the trap wire has revealed his position. Monster trying to get the spray through, but on the other side, it will be some fight back. Wall's gonna go down and defend his spawn. That'll keep him back for the meantime. They're gonna start breaking it immediately though. A hall has been pierced, and that opens up a chance in for this retake, but Heretic's still a man down. They need a kill quickly. He might be able to find it soon enough. But look at this passive post plant from No Poach, and they haven't given up a single fight. Mid. Paranoia goes in, it's not going to connect onto anybody. Emowa taking one, Vicious has been able to trade it out one for one, and this time is just ticking, they've got to go. If they want this round, Team Heretics have got to get it quick. And Shad, he's just staying in the corner, another one for Shad. He shuts them all. It's a stagnated, it's fairly straightforward for Shad to win out those duels one by one. I thought it was going Team Heretics' way, they find that lurk that was coming into mid, they shut it down, and Vicious was caught in a difficult position. Wall up to the right side, but immediately a haul again, and Shed, he is not stopping, he is unrelenting on the server right now. An element in the elevated position has been able to get one, a headshot onto Monster, a two-man advantage, now followed up to three, this is looking so good, Jack is even getting involved. He control from Shed as he goes through, he's gonna be spotted, he's being suppressed, and now they know exactly where he is. Yeah, they're gonna just sort of press on this position, but they're also pushing over areas of the map, Element. He has to back out completely, that fragment's gonna create a lot of space, but this push has come in from Shed, he gets the flash, he gets a kill onto Monster. Oh, and Aussie now swinging in behind him, but Shed has got the double kill, the flight from Law. It's delivered a headshot from in behind. Mikao getting involved as well. We're down into a 3v3. Team Heretics, they want to try and move forward into the site. They need the spike plant. They are going to get that. They lock it in. Patatek starts to try and get in from behind. He's going to hold down this position. Oh, the door is closing away. He tries to get oh, a fright no. before it goes down, but he hasn't been able to pick it up. Paranoia goes through, and Law's found another kill. Looking good for the Heretics. Jack is starting to get closer towards Boathouse, he's creeped up into the close corner, he's trying to not make sound as he drops on down, but Jack has to swing into the open, jumps across, cross arrow offline, goes down to the left side and goes in for a little bit more, under so much pressure, switches out to the other classic on the floor, but look Down, stopping this early aggression coming in from Team Heretics, but this utility is fast, they're trying to go for this A split, Nozzy has to try and lock it down, he still has that paranoia, he's waiting for that timing. Shed, good position, but no kill. He's gonna get taken down by Alarante quickly, but the rest of the kills come in for Heretics. They found three between them. Spike is going to go down. Hasn't been committed to. They didn't stick it. Now they feel a little bit more comfortable. They're gonna throw that on over, and now looking for that Spike plant. Trying to get rid of the Heaven approach, and Jack even getting caught by the flashes. 
he's gonna be held back and you know exactly where he is. Shock Dart's coming through as well. He's just getting bombarded with everything right now. He's been suppressed. Zero point catching him now. The recon port. How much utility can Jack end up taking at once? They have been pressuring A over and over, but this time they're going to B. And they've lost Patatech early. Elements operator holding. Now Lorante is going to try and pull that kill back by going up into short. Ozzy re peeking out for the trade kill. He has to stick around though, but he's low on health and he somehow gets away with a double. Yeah, it's the fact that he stays for that fight. He knows that the enemy's low and still manages to win it. And Mill's been here the whole time. Eight seconds, he has that zero point. Maybe throwing it to the back of CT. But at least shut down his killjoy utility. Being patient to be able to peek it's going to be good. There is no turret available. A blade storm is going to be used. It's actually the null command. They actually picked up the ultimate. So now all of these players are going to be suppressed. It provides a bit more of an opening for Team Heretics to make it onto their site. But the problem is they're both stuck there. These three players are going to work it out quickly for no poach. Spike's gonna get planted. But look at all oh. this control and no punch again. And they're gonna even dedicate Hunter's Fury. Yeah, they're just trying to keep them out of this one. Ozzy's gonna try and break open the doorway. He will eventually do so. But at this point, Team Heretics, they, they've used up a lot. They, and they don't have a lot left now because of that. So there still is a chance to make this retake happen. Paranoia is gonna go down into the site. Chak is coming with the first and the second. How quick was that? Out of Vicious. Throws Recon Dark down. Element's gonna go very aggressive. He puts through with the updraft and has been able to find Monster. So, a great opening coming in, but he has to be careful because this A attack starting to come through from Heretics. You get to put pressure onto the site they've often found loads of success on. Remember, there is that lockdown still available for the defensive side if they want to go for the retake. Oh, did he not score? No! Alarante is gonna go in towards oh, no. the site. Closes <laughs> up the door. Wait, this is a horrible round for him because the slow orbs just bounce back. A bit more utility as we see the flash drive being thrown in. There goes the second one. It's going to bounce off. It's making oh. that space, but no poacher being able to give it and also respond when they need to. There's a lockdown available, but you need it. You're in a five versus three. AO is incredibly low health. The zero point's going to shut down that recon. That has 400 credits gone down the pan for no poach. Patch takes on a super aggro angle. Yeah, Patatech really trying to make it happen. You know, you're down two players. You've got to take risks. You've got to try and get these kills back. And with the doorway wide open into Garden, this becomes a huge issue. There goes the lockdown. Even more problems added in for Heretics. And now they go for the fight. Patatech getting one lol as well. They're lining them up, but finally, it is shut down. It's no poaching with their final kills. And they make the retake happen. They... I think they almost use a lockdown as bait. They know the Team Heretics considering how they've been playing with site to go their way. And Jack is picking up the info that they haven't actually got onto the site yet for that plant. And Aussie's going to go with the From the Shadows straight in towards Boathouse. They now have two players in that area to try and hold it off. They've got information of that with the recon bolt. Paranoia goes out, and this is looking good. The defense no are just shutting way. everything down. They just do so much damage. And what was looking good for Heretics just gets torn apart. I can't believe that Ozzy dedicates to the From the Shadows to help out his teammate in Shaq. They both hold on to the back of the boathouse. And it ends up being flawed. Hey, now Shed has a decision to make. The Hot Hands a good one to block that way to set it up. But I think he's gonna get he's gonna get detained here. He's just a little bit late and overall. Might be able to be used as bait, but it's gonna be tough. Yeah, it does get detained in the end. Ozzy, I feel like he wanted more out of that, but instant trade from Heretics is good enough, right? He had that one angle safely outside of the lockdown. It's a common position to check, and so the red starts to come through. Law's gonna be up on his feet again. Spike starting to get planted, just about goes down, and now looking good for the Heretics for the 4v4, but Element just tail winning straight into the site. Push just tries to come in around the back side, and Element doing so much! A 3k, but he runs out of ammo, and that's gonna allow Anilwa to take down his teammates, and Element now looking for the clutch, and he finally gets it! His 4k comes in, and just about... Looking like a B-split possibility starting to come through, flash drive goes in. Trying to get Vicious off the angle, but Monster has found Shed in the meantime. So, a big opening for Heretics, and they realize now they don't have to commit off that. So, with the updraft, the Bloodstorm gets in with at least one. I thought for a second he was about to find nothing there, but gets the info that they're dropping back and heading into the A site. Now they can make the rotation. They've made a lot of space in that gap, though. Nobody was on A to stop this, but oh. Element is here to take that fight. Knows that there's one in hell. He's looking to take more peaks. It's good for one before it's traded out from Monster. Two players left, Vicious making it up onto Rafters, he doesn't have Monster there to help him just yet, but Monster gets the 3k, Chak even, and one versus 3 has to clutch it out. Yeah, this is not looking 
all that easy for him, especially having to give away his position that it, that he's peaking right there by taking the turret down. And now they're just going to hold back. They know they don't have to fight him. He's got to go in and make the risky play. Great movement up on top, and that has allowed a kill, but that's so all he will find. A full fight with strategy, and we've seen a few zero points coming through here today as well, but Aussie loves this corner. He loves to swing out from heaven. Looking to try and pull it through, the run it back comes in. Shed's gonna go down, Aussie hits the deck as well. Patatex come through with the double, but remember, Shed's still alive with that run it back and deliver more impact, but he's even been taken out for the second time. Law makes it work. Vicious has got a kill in for the defensive side, and that has given them the amount of advantage, but here comes the Hunter's Fury. They heard the tap and the defuse, they've got them off it, and now they know the aggressive play and the Patatex starting to come in. He found one, they're back in the defuse, they've got it to halfway, the cloud burst up, spraying through, now sticking it for the rest, it's <laughs> Element stealing it away, and the round is done. Oh man, Heretics, you've got a tough series ahead of you no matter what, and Element is trying to put the punish on there, gets traded out instantly, it was needed, and Shed's going to try and get more in mid, but can't. That's great kills here for the Heretics, and Aussie makes the aggressive play, realizes the risk is needed, and he has been now from the shadows available as well, so... No post, they're gonna try for this one, but there goes the lockdown, so that's gonna force them out of play. Yeah, I think this is a save at this point. You could maybe retake it with your own lockdown, getting closer to where the switch for the market door is, placing it there, oh. but this is good from Team Heretics. They know that that pressure's coming in, but Chuck is about to punish it, just manages to get the right angle in between the smoke. Now Heretics now continue to try to push up. They're able to isolate a fire, but Chuck oh. has somehow done it. It's from absolutely no... Takes that opportunity, runs with it. There's going to be that zero point as well. And so far, Team Heretic's been able to take these aggressive stuff, but Element is there to fight. Has a dash to get out, and there's a bit of a re push in from Shed. Oh. Flashes the teammate. It's a bit awkward. Now Aussie's going to go for a fight. Yeah, oh, he tried to get away. He tried to shroud and step around the corner after one, but good spacing allows for the trade kill to come in immediately. And Heretic's, they've got the man advantage, but Shed has done well to pull it back to within touching distance. Monsters on. Market as well, so now this is yeah. a lot of space gifted up on B. Yet again, no poach backing off completely. They just do this quite a lot. They're willing to let Team Heretics have that space. They have a lockdown. The problem is Lowell. Lowell's in a nice spot in B main. He can wait here, he can make it more difficult. And even Monsters playing aggro. Just one player on the site. Oh, that recon bot trying to spot them, but it's not going to be catching them with the not cover up. And Monsters going to hold the line up. Still. It's uh, an awkward engagement. Team Heretics have actually given up all of this B site. They're not pushing on B main. They're just keeping more of an eye on mid. They are going to find these jewels, but they don't find the kills. In fact, that's a great entry for No Poach. Shed being able to catch onto Lowell. And Alorante needs to back off. Wants to turn an aggro angle, but it's sort of caught out in the open. He's good at least to get onto chat, but Shed finds his second. They're finding their way onto the site. Now all three members of Heretics making their way in behind. Yeah, they're trying to get that info with the zero point. If there was anybody around the corner, he feels comfortable going around now. But three versus four, feels like heretics are, are constantly having to make these retakes work. And, and uh, we're going to see if it works out for them in this one. Fish is sitting back. Monster going forward. Classic trying to line them up. He's not been able to get much out of it here. Monster and the rest of his teammates are going down. Element continuing to get kills. Aussie stepping up. And Element again. How much are we going to see out of this guy? Alarante. He's looking for a pick quickly, but nothing's happening right now. The Heretics really need a couple of kills, and they're going to group up. They're going to use the strength in numbers. But for now, it's looking very good for the attacking side. Just post it up. Here comes that push in. They don't have that zero point. And Chak is playing on an aggressive angle. That hot hands is going to make his life a little bit easier. Play his push into him. They don't even check him properly. And him and Ozzy are there to actually oh. clean up. And now it's all shut down. Vicious comes in with a final kill, and, and he has been spotted. His position given up. Still a strong spot, though, and he tries to get away with a kill. It is now Law with most of the pressure because all of his teammates are going down. And in fact, everybody has hit the deck. It's all on Monster, trying to get back into the site. Spike down and no utility available right now. If he gets a kill, he would have to lock down. They're going to spot him coming in. He's been spotted by the drone, and now things are looking so rough. The spam, everything comes in at Aussie. They want to prove something and beat in the first strike winners of 2020 would be a hell of a start and that's a great way to begin this round. Vicious. Well, the vicious headshot to start off. The round looking so good for no poaching, but they go into the judge and it's not got anything. Aussie overrules the judge itself, but Monster is a little more. 
He orders order in the court and Vicious has found another one. Everything falling apart for Heretics. Only two players left. Lockdowns go in and this is looking good because no potion have gone back into middle. Luckily Holy Monster to shut them down. The double kill. Element and Shred have hit the deck. There has been a play of Aussie over towards Boathouse and Padatek is looking for the aggressive stance. Ah, oh, Monster wants to up. He wants to get to the site at this point, but Vicious is going to hit us. He has so much space, oh. so much control. He's able to get onto Padatek and Monster. Take your pick. Nobody's going to be focusing on mid at this point. So the Lurk is going to come in. The smoke is going to make it awkward for Patatech to go in this. Narrowly Vicious misses off his opportunity. So now Patatech wants to break it onto the site. Aussie's found a chance though. Oh, he's with the shots. The classic comes out on top. And now it is all on Vicious. Can they get it done here? Six boards left. Defuse being stuck. And Patatech keeps the dream alive. The heretics are not done. Especially with that run it back oh, being used. And Anders is going to delay again. But Shed wants to push through it this time. It's going to be heard. Monster just holding on to this angle yet again to run it back, not really finding all that much space, but Monster about to exploit the areas that Shed was able to take. Yeah, Monster, oh my god, look at this timing. He's got him behind him. Oh, he needs to be careful he doesn't get flanked on, but there he goes. Into the site, nearly the lineup. He just gets away with one. Meanwhile, the rest has come in, and we're back to a four versus three. A man advantage from the Heretics. Look at Shred, no. he's got him behind them. They have no idea. He gets a double kill and finally taken down. Alorante makes it work. And again, the rest, this time for Al Almoran. He's up finally. Aussie with the lineup. Only one kill, but he stayed alive this time. Lockdown comes through. Aussie finally critted out, and it's all on check. The lockdown is in the site, and he's just holding now. Crucial seconds left, Ryan. Oh, he's been flashed to all health, been smoked off, but if there's a player to make it work, it's Chat now. He knows roughly where the defuse oh, is going to be. No, it's not it's a good sideline for him, though. He has to push on. He has to give it up. He's not really willing to push for it. The defuse comes in. It's... Again, they're going to pressure this B-side. They put a lot of pressure onto it from two fronts, and now Padatek needs to get down. Ooh. They've got the Hunter's Fury starting to come through, but Element has just cracked open the site. Padatek under pressure, but he peeks out. Just one. Down, Element please. again getting the wall by headshot, and now he's going to go for the... Oh my goodness, sticking the plan. I thought for a second he was about to be taken out by the shock dart, but Alorante coming in, a 3k for him, and the heal coming up as well. Suddenly it's all on track. Can he get it done this time? Can he make it work? Defuse starting to come in. It's a better situation this time. Around the corner, he's found one. Alorante's got it to half, and he will get it done. A 4k, and back to the defuse. Quite nicely, and Lowell might overpeak this, especially if he's not expecting shed. It doesn't matter. He still flicks onto the shot beautifully. It's going to try and retake this space. The recon that is going to pulse onto Ozzy. Team Heretics that only deal with this rapid change of pace, but they also come out better on top. Oh, wow, look at that. That is huge because that's the spike. The spike has been found by MOA's aggression. Padatek's been able to find a headshot, and now oh, the no. blade storm goes through, but they're blind, and he's missed the shots, and he will go down. Cloud burst up, and he gets into it as well. Milwan looking for the position. Smoke fades away. He gets a headshot. Alarante getting one as well here for the Heretics. It's been a great start to the round. There hasn't really been much resistance yet for no poaching. They haven't been able to find those replies. This setup around the corner, it's a double stack, and again, it's a one for one. That's giving the spike away. Amoa, easy kills for him, and now Vicious doing everything he can, but eventually walks into the wedding arms of Monster that's at the ready and Alarante. Yeah. Or it could be Heretics taking us to map number three, which would be Breeze of all places to end this one. Told you it was going to be a good series. Yeah, you learned that that's the right thing to do. This game has been great so far, but a quick B play starting to come through. Hunter's Fury, Elman charging forward to run it back in as well. Shed's been taken down again, not getting really anything out of that. But it has been the Sovers trading back and forth. And here's the one for one, Panatek. Is going to find Shed and Law now holding down into his boathouse. Element has taken his head right off his shoulders and now the attack in for this retake attempt. There's no wasting time. Heretics are coming over to try and close it out here, but Element's come in with a headshot. Vicious in as well. Rez coming in to try and get Pat Attack back into battle and they've got to get the kills quickly. A two versus two. They're trying to figure out if they can get in before this lockdown causes problems and they won't be able to do it. Alorante on the drive by. The headshot is in and now it's all down to Element. 19 HP. He's 
let them cross by. He's given away his position, and he's stuck inside of the slow orb. Defuse starting to come in. If he swings into the open, he's got to get the headshots. He's got one, and Alorante. Towards the A side, putting pressure on Jack, and he's given away his position, trying to get rid of that drone, and now he's under so much oh, pressure. Eventually, he'll be taken out, and Alorante getting a start that he wants. He's going to try and continue like that. Some of these A entries, as I was saying, are just going to keep coming through. And Milwa as well, able to follow up. And now we're in a 4v2. Yeah, Milwa is actually able to clean up a lot now. Just going to be Element and Vicious playing up together now. Just Vicious. There they all go at the same time. And whilst Vicious can get one. It's teleported all the way back into Nest. He might catch these rotations. He might be able to get a kill as the screen goes down. But Vicious is just missing him. Rick on that's gonna go past him. It is gonna pull some packs today, but he just peeks at the perfect time. They know he's there. Now, no poaching. Don't want to get flustered here because there's a real knife in between these two sides. And Paul plays alive. Both are separated, but Chak finds a spike. Yeah, Chak is doing so much. I don't know how he's done it as, as much as he has in this round, but Element should have went down, but eventually gets his kill. Shed swings by with a headshot, and it's now all on to Amoa. He's found the spike, but the time is ticking. He's got to get over it. Recon Arrow out to try and gather some info. Snake bites into default. Oh, it's so difficult. He's going for the fights instead of the spike plant. He has been able to find one. Now going for the plant itself. He's going to lock it in just in time. And now Amoa looking for the final plant. Player, but Shed has got so close, he's got right in behind him, and the kill is through the head fear into the heretics after what they've seen from him in the series so far. He's been so good to watch. And Shed's gonna be the first contact, but he's unable to get anything. Luckily, Element is there alongside Ozzy, and they've been able to pick up three kills. Law continues to barrel in to this B site. Snake bite going through, toxic screen up, and now they've taken themselves a good bit of positioning. That poison cloud allowing for the plant, but the shock dart's starting to commit. Unable to deny, and so the spike will go down. We've got to see a two versus four, but it will be the Viper's pick that could really help cases here for Team Heretics. It's trying to find if they can spawn an angle. There has been a few aggressive peeks out of them, and Hunter's Fury is going to at least flush some people out. Ozzy gets caught out in the process, and Element oh. gets traded, and the Hunter's Fury catches on to Lowell of all things. Um, I was down the side for kids as well to try and slow down this attack. A couple of snake bites in and Jack changing up his position. He's done very well from the stairway and he can play alongside his teammate of Element. But all the kills from Patatek and Monster have come in in quick succession. Paranoia is so good. Aussie oh, tactical timeout. The team that gets the timeout then starts to flourish for a few rounds. And this is what put no poach need right oh. now. Oh, I think Aussie just about dodged that owl drone. He's got in towards the toxic cloud and now revealing his opponents. He's got one screen still up in play, but he goes right through it. And Aussie's found another one. In fact, in finding his second kill, he's also dropped the spike. Repositioning further back to try and get cover away from Alarante, who is just on a bloodthirsty round. He's found four. And MOI will take the fight. Quick play here from the Heretics, using the Leer to try and get in towards the site. Chak has changed up his position. He was a little stale on the Cypher, but now he's back over here. But, oh, he's going to be found. If the Hunter's Fury didn't connect, it was certainly going to go down to the rifle. And Vicious getting one. Hunter's Fury on the other side of things now starting to come in. It is a two versus four, and Heretics have come out at the bottom of these engagements. Look at this space that Lowell has been able to take. It's him lurking now. The spike is in tunnel, so it's going to be difficult. And Shed's now sort of part of this. He's out in the open, actually. It's good that he got that kill onto Emilwa because Lowell, he can certainly lurk through CT to get there. And now the opponent can always buy. Monster's going for the operator peak. He won't be able to find it, but on the other side of it is another operator lying in wait for him. Element takes a shot and backs off just to give himself a little bit of space because Monster wasn't really going to peak that, but he's still going to consistently be a threat. Element changing up his position. Getting rid of this. Aldron is going to be important, and he immediately checks over to that position. Alarante's in. Double doors. Alir is going to make it awkward for Element to hold on, but luckily his teammates are going to destroy it instantly. Element wants that peak. It's an easy kill for him, but Alarante's not going to make it that easy for him. Lowell has also pushed it all the way to Nest. Patitek just in tunnel and Chak playing so passively he's not gonna know this kind of hold the heretics again looking to posture in towards B they've been spotted here lol getting spotted by the owl drone he's gonna have to drop out of nest and drop back now into what is going to be this B play the late round execute from the heretics 
Element has got over here at the right time. He's dodged the paranoia, jumping around the corner. Patatek goes down. Monster's been able to make his operator work too, but now the Blade Storm comes out. Jack's still alive, remember. They've walked into a trap wire. Element's got one in the Blade Storm because of that position being known. And so Anoa is left alone, and Jack even hitting that headshot. It's all on Monster. He has been able to find two in the round, but he's the only player being able to find anything. And that's Spike. It's not going to be anywhere near to him. So he's looking for picks, he's looking for kills, but at this point, you don't really... And they're looking for a pick down in towards Cave. He's actually done well to pick up that first one. Being spotted, Element swinging out into him. Looking up on top, Element hunting for more. He's definitely been so good in these kind of situations in the pistols. When you put a ghost into an operator's hands, generally that point-click aim it transitions quite well, but we definitely see that come through with him. The doorway is opening up, Spike getting planted, and the Heretics having to pull off a retake. Monster looking for a head, and now starting to tag him a little bit. Recon arrow coming through as well, and Monster now gets closer and closer. It's not looking so great right now for the Heretics. They're not getting these kills early. Eventually, they've got to just bomb their way through. Just trying to work out where these last players are. Lowell is on 20 HP. Once we have a second, it's been nice to see him play Agents of an Unsaved. It's been pretty decent so far today. And Monster, he goes down. Bishop. You can get into the second on the attacking side and look much more comfortable. But look at this play. The Classic's trying to get in behind. Patatek has been able to take the first. Aussie's hit the deck, and that's the spike down. His defense has been able to take a lot of space. Now Chat needs to look at all different verticalities. And the camera's at least there to help him out as Emil was looking to try and press and push through mid. He has to back off now. That space has been retaken. It was a bit more clumsy for no poach, and they're going to rotate elsewhere. Patatek, well, he liked this position he was in on the def on the attack even, but now he's using it on the defense. Might be able to get a good timing here overall. With a classic, he might be just good for one. All right, he's just trying to peek out. Can even get anything from that? And now Cyber Kids goes up, just preventing his vision as they cross on by. That'll give them enough time to get comfortably in towards the site, but Monster is still over here, and a rotation has come through as well. Monster doing so much work. This now becomes very worrying because there's more players available for the defense of Heretics. This could get real messy. They've still got to get that spike down, and they're down two players. Shed is desperately trying to find some space, takes down the turret, camera into the middle of the site to try and spot out what is clear. Remember, Patatek stayed alive and he has taken out the cam. This is so difficult right now to fight. You've got so many angles you've got to try and clear. And Patatek is a real nuisance just keeping them off. But the spike trying to go down. It's denied into the hands and there it is. Into the site and looking to try and make this happen. Monster again just using his positions wisely. He's been choosing the right angle every single time. And remember, he still has that lockdown available. So he's just going to change it up again. They have to keep guessing. They have to keep figuring out where he is. Hunter's Fury hasn't been able to do much, and Monster down in 70. He's going to try and be supported by this Aldron, but remember, Alarante is always starting the flanks. He always comes in behind, and again, he has got two. Monster has been cleared out, and there it goes, that lockdown. Lol has found a double. It's 12-5 for the Heretics, and even with these Tillwind plays of, of the Jed, you know, trying to get something done, Element just cracking open skulls with a Sheriff, it just isn't enough because he's lost so many members early. It's good to see Elrante being able to shine when necessary. It's his job, and I think he's been a lot more potent to be the full stop on this one, 12-5. Elrante at the ready. Aldron goes through. Nano Swarm keeping him at bay right now, but Elrante is going to dismiss away. He comes back. Oh, this is huge. Elrante 